All right, and we are live. I need a chair. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Nobody's watching. Okay. Okay, hello everyone. How are we all? Hello, Robin. I see you. Right, I've had a little lunch. I've tidied up, ready to make a nice new mess again. Welcome back to the first day of the online craft show, uh, Great International Craft Show number 17. And here at Natalie May Scrapbooking, we have got a whole heap of awesome things happening today, tomorrow, and Saturday. And what we are doing is we have got some fantastic specials for this weekend. And I've just noticed how crooked my phone is. Bear with me a sec. Let's just go a little, little jump like that. Uh, so yes, we have got some fantastic things happening. 15% uh, off of paper, so pa patent paper. We have got 15% off of paper pads. Uh, that includes like all patent papers in a pad, Vicky Booten. We've got funky fossil papers, 49 market, Minte, the whole shebang, all discounted, ready for you guys. We've got washi tape, 15% off, and stamps, 15% off. So I'm going to be using stamped images today and some washi tape. Uh, last week, we got a great big shipment of washi tape in, and it is so very, very cool. Uh, so this is a free little mini class and we do this as part of the, the online show. You can find everything that I'm talking about online at nataliemay.com.au and the items that I'm showing you that are on special today are only on special for today because we're going to be having a brand new special tomorrow. All right. Hello, D. Mona, Susan. Hello again, lovely Susan and Sharon. All right. Let's get into it. I thought that I would do a quick little art journal page in my craft journal. And I'm going to keep it super simple and I'm not going to reinvent the wheel here, but I just want to show you a lovely creative way of using some washi tape. So this is my, my craft journal. It is about A4 sort of size. It's a Dina Wakeley craft journal. I really love do it, using it. There's lots of very fun things that you can do in this journal. Uh, really great to use. I think I did this one with the last online show. I did this little page here. Yeah, I can't get it open now with the little peaky doors. Uh, there's so many great things that you can do. So I'm going to do a single page today. Uh, and I'm going to use these new awesome washi tapes from All and Create. So I've just gone and taken a few off the shelf and I thought I would show you some really lovely ways to use them. And I just picked out a few of my favourites here. Uh, and these are all 15% off. So it's something interesting about washi tape. Washi tape is not a permanent adhesive. Super important to, to be aware of that. Washi tape is a temporary adhesive. It is a low tack. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cover my whole page in washi, but I'm just kind of prepping the page with a little bit of extra adhesive, just in a few spots, just to ensure that it is stuck, that it's going to say stay stuck. Um, I'm doing this in the expensive way by using thick double-sided tape, only because I couldn't find my other tape. But because double-sided, oh, sorry, washi tape is low tack, it's certainly not going to remain permanent. All right, so if you're sticking something up on your wall, then it's fantastic. If you are wanting to stick something uh, on in your project as a permanent thing in your project, I always recommend a little bit of extra love. So I'm going to start with number 38, number 38. Now, washi tape 
is also, it's a paper tape. So cool thing is it tears really easily, just like that. And I'm going to run these across my page and tear off. So I want my ends, that side and that side, to be raw. And I'm going to I'm find the ends because they're new tapes. So I'm going to start by just tearing off like that so that I've got a torn edge. And I'm going to layer up. Now, I can't really tell, but I'm assuming number 38 to the bistro, please. Yes, this one's number 44. Uh, I've got some colour here, so I do love these. These are very nice. Well, that one's got a bit of sticky on it still. I did unwrap them all before coming live because it takes more than a moment to do that. Where's the end? Where's the fills there? Just using my Alpha craft knife to rip the end. A little pop of colour in here. Uh, there we go. Maybe not. Maybe I'm going to keep this. I thought, yes, that's a great idea, but I do like the idea of putting colour in. But I'm, I'm thinking that I'm going to keep it quite raw and similar sort of colour palette. Um, nice and earthy this time. I've pulled out... Oh, it's stuck on my fingers. That's another one that's absolutely gorgeous. It's got little um, bunnies, short-eared bunnies, otherwise known as possibly mice. <laughs> I just can hear the girls laughing from the from the room next to me. Well, I didn't want to say rats. People don't love rats. So we're going to call them short-eared. Nices. And I'm just overlapping ever so slightly. I'll pop a little bit more of this one up the top here. This is beautiful. This has got these gorgeous flowers. And a lot of these designs are already images that are in All and Create's library. Very cool. Here's another one. I think this one might be my favourite. Yeah, guaranteed. Dear past, thank you for the lessons. It's a bit deep, isn't it? So art journal pages don't have to be complicated and painty and messy. They can be anything that you like. Um, just going into my drawer here to find some more black ones because it needs balancing. And pulling out... Some really old ones as well, which I don't even know if are available, but you'll get the gist of it. So I've just got another little one here, a little skinny black one. And this one is number 41. Hello, Cherry. Oh, hello, Pina. So while I'm just trying to make this work, um, some of you may or may not notice I released six new collage papers today. And the lovely Pina, who is currently watching, one of those is named after her. How exciting. I bet Pina didn't even realise that yet because she would be at work today. Rightio, there we go, there's that one there, I might pop a little bit more butterfly up the top. Alright, there we go, so if you jump online to nataliemay.com.au, 
you will find the links to all of our new collage papers. Um, now the collage papers are not on special. Pattern papers are all on special. So we are talking about um, paper pads, like from Paper Rose, uh, paper pads from Uniquely Creative, paper pads from Butterfly, here we go. Um, Minte at 15% off and lots of fabulous brands. All right. So I'm just going to layer up this background. I've got these raw edges. I've got a little bit more down the bottom here. That's where I'm saving this little tape down here. And I do like that nice earthy feel that the page has got to it. Next thing I want to do is... I might just tear off some of these edges. So to tear off these edges, I use my craft knife and to give it a little bit of direction. But I don't actually mind that it's got these exposed bits. In fact, I think I might just keep them. So that, that double-sided tape that I put down in the background is just going to ensure that this low-tack adhesive, which is washi tape, is actually going to stay stuck. I'm going to add a few extra little bits over the top here for layering because I like it. Oh yeah, there we go. So then it will take some of this boldness and heaviness out of this black that I've got, which quite often happens if you've got something quite strong like the black. So putting this, this number 37, which is a really, really nice, simple Crunch. And I will be adding some stenciling, no, some stamping I thought I might add over the top. I'm going to bring this up to camera just to show you how effective that is. Alright, got a bit of light reflection there from the window, but you can see that layered up washi tape okay I really love that stenciling so what I wanted to do sorry not stenciling I keep saying stenciling but I mean stamping what I want to do is I want to add a focal point image I've worked on my background here I now want to add a focal point image so I found I went through my stamps and I found this old faithful that I have which is, is Collaged Girls by Dina Wakeley. I've had this for quite a while. This one here that she originally uh, bought out some years ago in like a wood stamp perhaps and, and re-released it. Love that. Uh, what I've done is stamped them all onto white cardstock and cut them out. I haven't decided which one I want to use yet. And I thought I would just use her as a focal point like that. I could use two actually. Mind you, she's got that deathly cheeky feel to it. But I also like her. Now we've got a bit of busyness going on in the background here. So I feel the need to tone that back. So I might tone that back with a little gesso. Gesso sponge so because we've got so much happening I figured if I if I add a little gesso I'm just going to put it onto my acrylic block here so gesso of course is a sealer and it's an undercoat right so I'm I don't want to completely cover what is in my background but I just want to lighten underneath where my stamped image is going to go just so that she stands out really nicely. I do want her over here. So if I use that one, I could put her here and she stands out a bit more if I decide that she's my go. Yep. Or maybe this grumpy little number. No, it's not going to be her. And I'm going to put some up here as well while I'm at it. 
Now, but just sponging it on like this means that A, it's not drying, it's not gonna take so long for, um, for it to dry, it's gonna be quite quick. And it's just putting a nice little white wash over the top and kind of sealing the paper. Sealing the washi tape, just a freckle. So I've got that real smudgy sort of effect going on here. Oh, Cindy's audio is not working. I'm sure we could say lovely things about Cindy and she won't, she won't hear me. All right. Cleaning that off. Okay, I wanna add some stamping and some perhaps some stenciling. I did get my stencils out here. Let's, let's do that, let's do some stenciling. So if I'm stenciling over something like this, which is a little bit slick, because washi is a, is a tape, it's gonna resist. So I want to use a black archival ink and I'm going to add, I'm gonna use my new stencil and just pop a few of these little guys around the place. So there's no reason why I can't use a blending tool with some, with a stencil and some black archival ink. And I want to use the archival ink so that it is gonna have that permanency to it and it's gonna dry and stay on here and not smudge off. It's disappearing into the background and blending in beautifully, which is just the effect I'm after. What do you reckon, Karen, this one, Carrie Ann? That one, one or two? Okay, a little bit of stamping. This is a stamp taken from one of Tracy Scott's, number two, this one, um, taken from one of Tracy Scott's collections and it is one of my most used stamp. Now again, I'm using the Black Archival because of course we want it to have a permanency to it and I'm keeping, I've got the crosses here, I've got the crosses here, I've got the crosses in my stamp. We're keeping that all the way through. Very important to not mix up. I mean, we've got a lot going on in the background, um, but we don't need to overrun it with extra patterns, keeping it nice and consistent. I probably didn't need to use the stenciling. Emma. Oh, a neutral spread, yes. Do we like a neutral spread? I know I certainly do. Okay. So she's going to go here. I feel I need a little bit of something else. What will I need? Sometimes you just don't need. All right. Now, today I also uh, bought out some new collage papers. Now, if you are offended by naughty words uh, or you are watching with a small person, I'm not going to say the words, but I've just found another little crosses one here. It's a little Seth after. But yes, the, the, new, the new collage papers were designed because... As most of you know, yes, I have a bit of a potty mouth. Yes, I'm that person who doesn't mind taking a risk and telling it how it is. Um, I figure if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be me. So I bought out and released today some very sweary collage papers. So this one here is called Unfiltered Thoughts, and they are exactly that. They are Unfiltered Thoughts. So let's just say, for example, uh, 
yeah, there's certain words in there I'm not going to read out, but uh, they are super cheeky. There also is another one which is a great collage paper for backgrounds um, that says some things that you will think very amusing. Uh, so I have used a piece of white cardstock, some double-sided tape, and I have cut out the one that goes across the bottom here and just put it straight on there. So it's given it a nice solid base. And now I'm gonna cut those out, leaving a little bit of a white border. So of course I wanna leave a white border. I'm gonna use one of these as the title. I want it to stand out a bit. So that's where the white title comes into play. Now, because we have done these with in a, in a label sort of feel to it, you just need to be aware that when you cut them out, you put them down on your bench in the order that you cut that they're in. Otherwise, you're going to end up doing a lot of swearing, or even more, because you can't get them in the right order. Well, maybe that's just me anyway. So for those of you tuning in, welcome, welcome. I'm just whipping up a... A little what a little page, a little art journal page using washi tape as my background. Washi tape today on nataliemay.com.au is 15% off. Now our little sale is online only, so please don't come in and shop. It is only available online. So we do this that goes there. We do this every year, a couple of times a year as part of the Great International Online Show. And we are, later on today, we will activate our No Judgment Postage. So for those of you who don't know, No Judgment Postage is when we you place your first order for the low postage cost of $11.95. And then what we do after that if you want to combine your orders together, you can add to your order and select no judgment at the checkout. Postage is not free. We still have to pay for postage. Um, what we do is, if you want to add to it and you want to build, because we're going to have a brand new special tomorrow. Tomorrow's quite a good one. So putting them on like this onto here, because then they look like the little Dymo labelers from the 80s. Oops. So there we go. So I'm just creating in my uh, Dana Wakely craft journal with washi tape as my background. So washi tape, like I said before, is a low tack adhesive which means it does not have a great permanency to it. Really busy. Right. So where am I going to put these? I've got my Quick Sticks pickup from We Are Memory Keepers. I've had this little guy for years and years and years, and it will help you pick up bits and pieces and lay them out on your page. Excellent for picking up embellishments. Now, I've just noticed, if I pop on a couple of these words, they might disappear into the background. So I think I might just add a little bit more uh, gesso to where my words are going to go. So I'm just using a little gesso in this area to create this nice white shadow to help them stand out. The glue that I'm going to use, I've completely lost on my desk, which is at no shock to anyone. Found it. And I'm going to be using the Art by Marlene glue today. Oh. So I love this little glue. Very low cost of $7.95. And it does have a super fine point here. So I'm just going to go a little dot. Grab that. And pop it down. So this has got a little bit of a sticky on it. That you can pick up. Nice and easy, and position like that. You will find it in our tools section. 
it may not look Right, and now I can go in, and I'm going to zoom up and do this. Look away if you feel seasick. Jump. So now I can use the end of this to pop them into position. Happy with that? Right, I just need a little bit more gesso. Or a lot, as the case may be. Just to plant a bit of a base here. For the rest of my words, because it's going to build down here. Right. So the, in our little tools section, there are some very awesome things like this that definitely has their purposes. It may not look like I'm doing and I'm left-handed here. Hang on, there we go. See how it just grabs it? I love it. Because not every day I'm, I'm clever. Some days I'm clever with a pair of tweezers. Today's not that day. Flip it, position it, hold it, push it down, there we go. And it's taking me, for some reason today, I just can't talk and concentrate at the same time. Right, there we go. Just going to add a little bit more of a white shadow underneath here to help these guys stand out. So uh, today and tomorrow and Saturday, we are doing, you can catch me back here three times a day doing a little live mini class. Totally free, just for you guys, just to give you, give you some love back. Uh, and you can uh, catch me at 9am in the morning for a coffee and a chat and to hear about the special of the day. Have a bit of a walk through. Uh, tomorrow we have a brand new special. So the stamps and papers and washi tape that are on special today are only on special today. Ooh, that was close. Um, well, you won't get that this special 15% off tomorrow, but what you can do is add to your car, add to your order tomorrow by selecting no judgment. Just remember that postage is not free. You do have to pay for postage. Um, and we can post your orders out on Monday or Tuesday next week. And if you are local, like some of you that are watching, you can pick up your order from Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, probably Wednesday. Right, next I'm just going to add a little bit more of a base for our girl to sit on. Here, because I'm just, just waiting for that to dry underneath. And now I can just intensify that white. Whoops, sorry, I just realised it's totally off camera. There we go. So my stamping hasn't disappeared. That was not a total waste of time, but she's going to sit there now. All right, all right, all right. How do we feel like a little bit of school?
scribble. So this is a much older one that I've, I've got of Dina Way, please, and it's got this lovely little script on it. I think it might just need a little, a little bit of the script, and then I'm done. So not at all complicated, but you know what? Look those those washi tapes that you've got, guys. Heaven forbid we actually use them. I know it's like a novelty, isn't it? There we go. And yes, my words are upside down here, but you'd only know that because I pointed it out. Voila. In fact, I'm going to do it upside down again. Right, done. So, a bit of glue to stick her down. So, I, I stamped these images using my stamp press. The Couture Creation stamp press, which you'll find in the tools section, is the go-to for stamp press for stamping platforms in Australia at the moment. Excellent price point, very, very handy. Stamp press will enable you to get your blacks black. Super black. See how black that is? Can you see if that's like a total solid black? That's because I was able to stamp it more than one time because my stamp press positioned it in the same place every single time. So, love that. So, I'm just going to use a bit of pressure on here to make sure that's stuck down really, really good with a piece of just tape. Uh, what else do I want to do to this? I don't think I want to do anything. I might do a little doodle because, you know, love a doodle. Love a scribble. Black, black sharpie. Super fine. Super rough. Super easy. Let's not reinvent the wheel. You could use a paint pen. You could use anything at all that you like. She does need to be grounded, however. You cannot have an image floating in the middle of your room like this, like a person, and she's not, you know, I couldn't stick that there because it's not attached to anything. It's a bit non-grounded. So I like to make sure that my images are grounded and they're stuck down. All right. So just in closing, there's a half an hour art journal page done. What, let me walk you quickly through the steps. We used my craft journal here to, as a background, I used a some double-sided tape first, and then I did strips of washi tape. So of course, washi tape, oops. Washi tape is a low tack adhesive which means it's probably not going to stay forever uh but you do need to you know make sure it's stuck down totally stuck down i used the all and create washi tape and i used number 38 41 37 44 and Personal favourite, number 39, plus another little random black, skinny black one I had from my collection. Uh, Use those and stuck them across my page. They come in some amazing colours and designs for those purple people in the room. There is a number 62 is a gorgeous purple and blue one. Uh, there's some lovely one here with pinks and splatters on it. And then, of course, this really nice one here with the leaves. So this, and that's just a very small sample of what we have at the moment. Um, we all have washi tape that we just don't use enough. We have, um, yes, yeah, so then I added a little bit of gesso to my background, some stamping and some stenciling with black archival ink and mark making stencils. Stamped my images, used my new collage paper to give myself a cheeky little statement. And we are done. There you go. All right. So jump online today onto nataliemay.com.au and take advantage of 15% off paper, 15% off stamps and 15% off of washi tape. Online only. 
Uh, you will find these at nataliemay.com.au. You will also find us all in our private Facebook group, in our scrapbooking community. You'll find me on Instagram and our brand ambassadors as well. I look forward to seeing you guys again soon at 3.30 Adelaide time. I'll take a photo of this and link everything in the comments. And I look forward to chatting with you soon. See ya.